Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be studying for my first SAT. So I'm in my room. I'm going to get comfortable and I'm going to show you guys what book I have, kind of my past with SATs and PSATs and everything. I'll just give an explanation of how I'm planning on studying and everything. So let's go get comfortable. So this is going to be a bit of a like study vlog slash study along with me if you want to. I have a lot to do. My SAT is in one week. I know that's kind of late to be starting studying for the SAT, but I am honestly not that worried about it. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but I just went through four AP exams and five AP classes, so I think I'm going to be okay. I want to give you guys some background on my past testing, I guess. This past year, my junior year, I took the PSAT. Then in 10th grade, I took the PSAT as well. And then in 8th grade, I took like the 8-9 PSAT, which kind of like gets you introduced to the testing style. My last PSAT, I got a 13-10, which I'm very happy about because I didn't study at all. And now I just want to use this book that I have to make sure I am still okay with it. Um, I have no issue with taking the SAT again at the beginning of my senior year, but I just want to um, take it one time now while I'm kind of like fresh uh, out of my school year, and then I can take it one more time next year if I feel like I need to based on what score I get. I don't have much of a plan of action, basically just at the beginning of the school year my mom and I spent about an hour in Barnes & Noble looking at every single SAT book that they had and this is the one that we picked. Apparently it has all of the most difficult questions that kind of could be on the SAT so I liked it the best and it's the McGraw-Hill SAT Elite. I think it was like around 30 bucks or something like that, so it wasn't terrible. So my plan today is to take one of the practice tests. I'm going to be taking, I think it's called like the evaluation test or something. It's just at the beginning to see where I'm at exactly. I just want to kind of evaluate and see where we're standing, see how worried I should be for the next week, um, how much studying I'm going to have to be doing. There are just a plethora of resources on the internet and a bunch of videos and everything, so everybody is trying to help you get a good SAT score, so there's a lot that you can do for that. Grab your snacks, grab your study materials, and let's get studying. So here's the book, and if you flip through it a little bit, here it talks about everything that you need to know about the SAT, so I find that really interesting. So they have all this, and then here's the score sheet for the diagnostic test that they have. But here is what the questions look like. So this is the reading that we move on. But further in, when you actually start to grade your own tests, here at the end, they have kind of explanations of everything. So for the stuff that you do get wrong, you can find out why you got it wrong and kind of learn from that experience. So I really enjoyed that as a extra feature that they have. And they also have all of this vocabulary that you might need to know that you don't know already from the passages. So I think this book is going to be great. I'm going to get started with the diagnostic test now. So I forgot to mention that I'm not timing myself. I know obviously the SAT has time limits on each section, but I'm not doing that. Normally I am able to get through each section in just, you know, enough time to be able to check everything, but I don't want to put any pressure on myself. I'm just studying, so there should be no stress, and I want to make sure I can do my best work, but honestly, I'm not going to go through and check everything before I start checking answers. There's going to be no stress with this, no time limits. I'm just going to hope to do well on it this time, and maybe we'll talk about timing later on one of my next attempts, but I'm going to get started with the reading portion.
So I finished the reading section of my diagnostic exam and I have a feeling I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this book this week because I know these are supposed to be the most challenging questions on the SAT, but a couple of the passages were a little more challenging for me. I should be able to find out kind of do I need to think it through once and then my first answer is correct? Is it my second guess or is it my first guess that is the right answer? So I'm going to go through the actual answers and correct my work. Hopefully it won't be too terrible. I think I did a pretty good job um, picking out at least which wasn't the answer. So that's the first part of it. They have all of the answers just in letter form and then you can flip through and see the explanations on each. So I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna go through and I'll let you guys know what my score was on the reading section. So I finished grading and I ended up getting 44 out of 52 correct without correcting it, without like going through and checking my answers. So I'm pretty proud of that. I think that's a very reasonable for you know not spending a lot of time on it and not deliberating a lot over my answers so I am gonna take a break I think I always have the toughest time on the reading section just because there's so much thinking involved but then the rest of it's kind of like procedural the writing comes very easy to me the math stuff that's just all like you either know it or you don't. You know how to do it or you just have no idea. But the reading, you really, really have to look for clues and everything and that just takes so much brain power. I'm gonna take a break, eat some food, and then I will be back to tackle the next section. It is the next morning and I'm not gonna lie, I took a break last night. I just started to feel tired, so I ended up doing the writing portion laying in bed right before I went to bed, so it probably wasn't the best time for me to be doing it focus-wise and brain power wise but I think it'll be fine. So I went over those and I corrected them. I'm not sure how many I got wrong. But I'll count that later. Now I'm going to move on to the no calculator math section and then the calculator one. And I left my calculator downstairs. So I just finished the no calculator section and I did pretty well on it. Um, there were a couple questions like ones from geometry because it's been so long that I was like I don't even remember how to do this. So there will be a few that I have to go back and read the little blurb of how to do it. I think I did pretty well on that. I'm confident on it. I corrected it and it seemed like I only got like two wrong out of the ones that I fully remembered how to do and then there were three that I just want to check back on because I didn't remember how to do them. Now that I'm taking calculus this year, it has been so long since I've taken geometry. It's been like three years so I don't remember how to do that so that makes like all this harder because I know they don't go past algebra 2 for the SAT because some people won't have taken any further than that. I find that it's a little difficult because you're like doing stuff that you haven't practiced in a long time so there are some things that I need to brush up on but mostly I'm pretty confident on the no calculator section. The calculator section is going to be a different story because I don't know how to use my calculator. Like, I got this in 8th grade when I started Algebra 1 and I went online so I was just using like Desmos graphing calculator online because it's so much easier just to type it in with your computer. So I never really learned how to use a graphing calculator like properly. I do know like generally how to graph stuff on it but I don't know how to do like trigonometry on it or anything I don't know what you can do on these so 
I will have to be learning how to use this, so I will be relying on this throughout the calculator section. But I'm going to get started with it, and then I will let you guys know how it goes. I know I'm going to have to get used to it, but I'm just... Ugh. I'm not looking forward to the SAT because I don't enjoy sitting down for hours at a time and doing a test. I'm just so sick of that this month with all of my AP exams. Like, I could never see a standardized test ever again in my life and I would be overjoyed. There are more things in here in the calculator section that I do not remember how to do than in the other sections. So, there are things I need to brush up on. Thankfully, this book has the explanations that I can go back to, so that'll be helpful, but I am going to be doing a lot of practice in the next week, and I just feel like I need to sit down and do it, but I really, really don't enjoy just sitting here for hours at a time and doing a test. I really need to go back through here. I didn't get a solid answer, like, for what my score is. There were just questions that I skipped, and I haven't gone back to try to figure out what was wrong with them or what... I didn't understand about it. So this is a diagnostic test. I know I was supposed to get like a solid score on it, but with this one I just wanted it to be chill to get myself back into the mindset of it. So later today I'm going to be starting the next practice test and I can tell you guys how it goes if you care about that kind of stuff, but thank you for coming along with me trying to help me get motivated for this SAT. I mean it didn't really work very well. I, I'm not excited. I don't think it's gonna be fun. I think I'll do okay on it. At least there's kind of low pressure on this one because I can do it again if I really want to. I'm really done with school for this year. I've been having such a heavy course load and I just want to be done and then now I have this stupid thing. The fact that they test our knowledge based on this one test, it's down to reading, writing, and math. Like there's no science also, like that's a really big one. Fingers crossed for this one, but I will be doing a lot more practicing this week. But yeah, thank you guys for coming along and studying with me. I hope you guys had some productive time as well. So yeah, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosier Volts. Make sure to check out my Etsy shop also at Rosier Volts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com. And I will see you guys later. Bye.